Hey, we always live Elvis. Hey, MMK and Teresa, and it's Sunday. Oh man, it was a good day today. Fun day. It was a good day today. We did have a good day. We we did the outdoory stuff and uh, enjoyed it. Hope y'all had pretty weather where you're at and enjoyed it. It was uh, in the 60s. Felt fantastic. So, but with that, y'all, hey, I want to. Uh, do a couple quick shout outs. Uh, Kathy Tracy, appreciate you. Also, Joanne Arish, appreciate you. And I got your question, Cindy Pfeiffer, of where I got the shirt in the last video I had on. Can't say exactly for sure, but Teresa thinks that it might have been TJ Maxx. Yeah, it was either TJ Maxx or um, Burks. Or, or one or the other. I can't remember. They have TJ Maxx. Or Burr, <laughs> or I told y'all I feel good today. <laughs> I didn't want to come in. It was so nice out on the back porch. I just didn't want to come in. It was nice. Mm -hmm. It was nice. I hope tomorrow's nice too. All right, we're ready to start. Hey, let's do some questions. Okay. All right. Laurel Shepard. Did Elvis get into serious arguments with Vernon? I'm sure that they did have some serious arguments uh i mean they're just like anybody else father son and human uh and i won't don't won't say it's argument but i'll go back and tell you a little story that that i do know is true uh and i gotta start from the beginning so I, i'll just try to knock it out quick for you but uh vernon had made a new rule that if you didn't live at graceland uh, you didn't eat it, Graceland. And so Daddy and Elvis was up, and also tell you right off, he didn't tell Elvis about the rule he made. But Elvis and Daddy were up in his room, and they had been talking for a couple of hours, and they was going to get ready to do something, uh, go somewhere. And uh, Daddy said, well, I'll, you know, I'm going to run and get a quick bite to eat before we go and you you know you get you you know told Elvis you know go ahead and order you something and get it and and uh eat and then we'll, then we'll go and Elvis said no just call downstairs and have them uh order what what you want and daddy said no I'm, I'm gonna go to the house and Elvis said no just call downstairs order what you want have them bring it up and we'll and and I'll order and we'll we'll eat uh have them prepare it and we'll eat up here and then we'll go and daddy said well no I'm and Elvis just said, no, you're eating. And Daddy said, well, let me tell you, apparently you hadn't heard, but your daddy uh, made a, a new rule that if you don't live at Graceland, you don't eat at Graceland. And Elvis said, my daddy doesn't run things around here. Hot damn it, I do. But Daddy went on and come home and eat. Uh, and during that time, the next day, uh, we had gone out to Graceland, and Mama was sitting at the uh, breakfast bar there. And uh, Miss Lottie, it was in the evening time. Miss Lottie tried to get her to fix her something to eat, and she said no, no. And Miss Lottie finally said, "Well, at least please take a piece of cake." And she said, "Oh," she said, "Oh Lord," she said, "Y'all need to eat some." She said, "Mr. P threw one hellacious fit uh, yesterday." Uh, when we took his food up to him, uh, he threw his tray and and he was pissed. Uh, so after that, I don't guess the rule kind of applied anymore. Uh, but like I said, I'm sure there were a lot of arguments. But that's one I, that I kind of know for sure. Like I said, what you call an argument or a disagreement or whatever. But sure, you know they did. <laughs> Dennis. Dennis Yebba. Did Elvis bet on games with the guys? Hey, is that like a yabba dabba do? No, it's Y E B B A. Okay, well yeah. That's how you wrote it. Yabba zebba. Oh, that's right. Sometimes it's hard. I to hope we pronounced that right. Uh, but the question was, did they bet on? They uh, through the years they bet on a lot of things. It's not not just games, but I mean, you know, of course, yeah, Elvis would make some bets with them, and they would make bets with Elvis. I know for a fact they were making bets with each other. I mean, that the guys were always pulling something on one another or, you know, 
uh, making a bet with one another. I, I mean, they did some of the craziest things from, you know, betting each other who could uh, take it, take a hit in the stomach, you know, without giving up. Just all kind, you know, seen that. Uh, just all kinds of stuff. I mean, they, they were always, always coming up with something. And, of course, you know, had, had to bet on it. So. E.M. Matt, towards the end, was Elvis's hair solid white? No, it was not. Uh, and I've heard that, Bill, too. I, of course, Elvis, you know, he was in his 40s. Uh, you know, he started get. I started getting gray in my late 20s and early 30s. I mean, you know. I would think most men do, and you know he he had died and had have touch ups and spots, but his whole head to be solid white, no, it was not. Okay, this next again, this next name I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pronounce it. Here we go. Um, to you know you're spelling your writings kind of. Okay, I'm gonna say, Gerda Tashir. Was Lisa's presence as strong as Elvis's? No. Uh, and, and I'm not taking anything uh, uh, away from Lisa. And it could have been, I, don't, I can't say the relationship. I, Lisa was was Lisa, and, and she had her own way. And, you know, I, I mean, I've, I have never, and I've, I've seen uh, a lot of famous groups and people and just met, you know, a lot of just everyday people. I have never, ever in my life met anybody with with the presence of Elvis. I, I, I you know, and to be honest with you, I don't think I ever will. I, you know, not take nothing away from nobody, but y'all know as well as I do, uh, whatever the hell he had, which to me was the whole damn package. Mm -hmm. uh, they just nobody else like him, and, and nobody nobody gave you that feeling, chill bumps, excitement, adrenaline. You know when they come into a room or when you was around them, and you just constantly couldn't take your eyes off of them. Nobody but Elvis. All right, Woody, sixteen oh five. How was the food made at Graceland? Well, I'm sure you was how was prepared. It was prepared by by the cooks, uh, and they had you know a certain Mary. Uh, most of the time, did the breakfast cooking, uh, and some of the lunch, and and then Lottie did the the evening, the dinner. Uh, and, and, and as you've seen other videos before, I mean, it was prepared and was better than any restaurant I ever been to. And, and I mean that by, by both of those ladies. Both of those ladies could cook their hind ends off. And, and I they mean, probably had the best um, appliances available, huh? In oh, I'm kitchen. sure. Yeah. Yes, I'm sure. And of course, you know, the, the you know, uh, you know the groceries, the meats, and yeah, the, get whatever. I, but it seriously, I mean, down to you know BLT to just a uh, couple eggs over medium, sausage or bacon, hash browns, whatever you wanted, they could fix. And like I said, uh, that's why I stayed kind of a little fat pudgy boy and <laughs> fat little teenager because I loved that food, mm. <laughs> loved it. Michelle Ehrenberger, did you guys ever ride Elvis's horses or play in the barn? Uh, yes, to both, and uh, we we rode some of the horses. Never rode Rising Sun. Uh, did ride some of the other horses, and we enjoyed it. Uh, and then, uh, did we ever play in the barn? Was the other part was that correct, Teresa? Yeah, play in the barn. Earth to Teresa. Play in the barn. Earth to Teresa, play in the barn. I know. <laughs> I mean, no, you weren't listening, or you wouldn't have had to ask oh, me. Oh, okay. No. Yes, or did you play in the barn? Uh, yes, we did, and and I, I said way back in the video that I did, I'll just kind of touch on it. Uh, we had so much fun in that barn, and we had some of the biggest horse turd fights oh my gross. that you could imagine. 
I mean, did anybody ever get smacked in the face with one? Uh, yeah, Billy <laughs> McGregor. <laughs> oh God, uh, that's terrible. Uh, and of course, uh, some of the other ones. I mean, we it was in the face, the head, the neck, the back, anywhere. Mm. Hey, just that lucky. I bet your mama just but, loved washing your. Man oh, yeah, we, got clothes. Clothes. we probably smelt bad. She should have made y'all take them outside and rinse them off. Oh, uh, she probably did that. That's what I would have done. I would yeah. let you bring that in the house. Even today. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. I'm glad you got the smile on your face. Because <laughs> I don't want to have to do no tune in. Because okay. I'm the tuner. Okay, I'll tell them the story about what happened the other day. <laughs> All right, big rig. Big rig. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't any other men in the family look like Elvis? Well, Big Rig. I think his grandson did. Cause I, I was gonna say that uh, Benjamin is is the closest that I've ever seen. Uh, with that being said, the other thing I was gonna say is is I mean, God created Elvis. There was only one Elvis. Uh, but like I said, you know, from resemblance and looks, expression. I, I think uh, Benjamin was the closest that uh, that I ever seen. So, but but why? I mean, I I don't know. I mean, you know, I, I don't know. I, you know, I've often wondered. I've always wondered. You know, why I was so damn good looking. But <laughs> I mean, and truthfully, I got I we go get into it. But seriously, I used to, well, I didn't used to, one time. I hollered and screamed. I was in the bathroom looking in the mirror, and I hollered and screamed at her. And she come running in to see what it was. And I said, "Look, look!" And she said, "What?" I said, "Look in the mirror." And she looked. She said, "What?" I said, "You're one damn lucky woman." Yeah, that only worked <laughs> one time too, didn't it? You're lucky. Hey. Nothing, you're lucky nothing serious happened because I wouldn't have come running if it was because I would figure that that's what you were doing again. Because oh, even a spider. I would oh, have MMA cried wolf one time too many, didn't he? MMA. Is that what? I said MMK. Mm, okay. They say nothing about no MMA. I think you did. MMA is fighting, girl. I know what it is. <laughs> okay, I have a question, but I forgot what it was. <laughs> oh, I do. I have a question. So, you told me tomorrow you're going to till up the garden? Are you going to wear your overalls? I sure am. <laughs> I'm going to take a picture. Y'all, it's going to be pretty tomorrow. I'm going to till us up a little <laughs> garden, and I'm going to wear my old overalls and my cap and be ready to roll. <laughs> but, hey, y'all, seriously, uh, glad to be back. I hope y'all enjoying these videos. Keep sending in the questions. We love them. Mm -hmm. And if you hadn't subscribed, subscribe. But y'all, let's keep this thing going. We're having so much fun. And if y'all are enjoying this, send us some comments and let us know. Tell your friends and let's enjoy it. Also, Mom and Daddy, check out their channel if you hadn't. You'll love it. They got some lifetime stories that I could never even begin to tell. But with that, y'all, we are going to roll on out of here. We'll catch you on Wednesday. And remember, we, we always, always live Elvis. Elvis. Hey, y'all. Thanks for watching this episode of the Memphis Mafia Kid. Please subscribe and hit that like button. Got an Elvis or MMK-related question? Post it under the comments, and we may answer it in a future video. And don't forget to check out Mom and Daddy's channel, EFM Elvis Fans Matter.